Hey there, I'm SourceMake and welcome to the video on Git cherry picking, which is basically copying commits from one branch to another branch. In this video, we're going to look at when you would use Git cherry picking and I've got a really nice example set up on GitHub that we're going to use. And I've also got the commands that you would actually perform to actually do a cherry pick. And we're going to go through those commands together by going through the demo repository that I set up so you can see how it actually works. And that's it. This is hopefully going to be a really short video. So if you want to get to this webpage and bookmark it maybe so that you have these commands to your access, you can click the link below this video. Below this video, there will be a link. Click it, you'll get to this page. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. Thanks. So when you would you when would you use git cherry picking? Basically, when you work with multiple branches, sometimes there are commits in one branch that you want to transfer to another branch, but you can't actually merge or rebase the branches together because there are other commits in the original branch that you don't want in a new branch. So for example, let's say that we've got this repository right here and we've got this readme file in the master and we've only got one commit for that, but we've also got this other branch named all foods with certain features in it. Now, in all foods, we've got apples, bananas, cake, cherries, and spaghetti. And each one of those has its own commit. But let's say that we wanted to make a new branch called only fruits. And in that case, we only wanted apples, bananas, and cherries, those features in the fruit branch, which makes sense, right? If it's going to be fruits, we only want those. Cake and spaghetti aren't fruits, so we can't just take this whole branch and merge it into our new only fruit branch, right? Because then we would have things in there that aren't actually fruits. In that case, we would do a cherry pick, which is basically saying, hey, I only want these commits in my new branch, which is what cherry picking is, which is great. So that's basically why you would use cherry picking to only get certain commits. And now we're going to go through a demo by going through the commands that I've listed out right here. So I'm going to make this window a little smaller. I've got this folder in here. I'm going to right click and open a terminal. I'm going to say bash. So this is now a Linux terminal. And what I'm going to do is let's go back here. Let's um, go through the commands basically. So the first command is clone the project, which is basically just git clone the repository. So in this case, it's going to be git clone and the URL. We cloned it. We need to cd into this. So what is it? cd git cherry pick demo. Great. So the next thing that we need to do, let's make this a little bit smaller, is we want to check out the branch with the commit that we want. In this case, it's going to be the all fruits, all foods branch, because it has the commits for apples, bananas, and cherries, which we're basically going to use for our only fruits branch. So in this case, we're going to do git checkout all foods and we're going to do a git pull too in case you're working you know locally and you already have this branch locally you just want to make sure it's up to date now what we need to do is find the shas for the commits in that case we could do a git log and just look through the logs i find it easier to go through github so if you look right here you'll see that the shas are right here on github and that's actually much easier to go through um, next thing that we need to do now that we have the shas is check out the branch that we want to commit in. So in our case, we're going to make a brand new branch and we're going to base it off of master. So we're going to check out the master branch. And this is really good for things like hotfixes, um, you know, to base it off master branch or like an original branch that has less features in it. And now we're going to actually do, oh wait, we should do a git pull, of course, to make sure that your targeted branch is up to date. And the next thing we want to do is actually take the commits by using the git cherry pick command. So we do git cherry pick and actually I'm going to have to use, sorry, I'm going to have to use the word sudo, so sudo git cherry pick. And the reason I need to use the word sudo coincidentally is, you see how there's this verified thing over here? I have GPG keys on my local computer to actually get this verified thing. Um, and maybe I'll make another tutorial for it. You can see I have the commands right here uh, to actually make the tutorial. But uh, if you want that, actually leave a comment in the video. But I'm going to need to use the word sudo. Just don't worry about that. You might not have to do that. Sudo git cherry pick. And we need to do the shas. So in this case, the apple feature, you might not be able to see, but it's b4, 8, a, b, 1, 5. Then we do a space. And then the next sha that we want, and you can do as many commits as you want, is bananas, which is e0, 8, e3, 8, 2. And the last commit is going to be for cherries which is D, D, A, F, 0, D, 7. And hopefully this works. 
I'm going to have to enter my password, GPG keys were good, and it all worked. So now we've got only these features, which are just files, um, in our new branch, which is still a master. So the next thing that we need to do is actually create a new branch if necessary, which is true in this case. We're not going to push directly to master. We wanted to make a new branch. So in this case, we would do git checkout dash b, and the new branch name is going to be only fruits. I'm going to press enter. This creates the new branch locally. And the last thing we need to do is do the git push. And we need to set the actual branch name. So we're going to do that by taking Git's advice. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste. And I'm going to have to enter my information. And now that gets uploaded to GitHub. And look, it just showed up. Our only fruits branch is there. And you can see we have apples, bananas, and cherries. And we don't have spaghetti and cake, which is great because this is our only fruits branch. And that's it. That's git cherry picking. It's really that easy. Um, the command is git cherry pick. But the things you would need to do, as I said, which is the hard part of this, of course, not just doing that, is cloning the repository, checking out the branch with the commits um, that you need so you have it locally. And then you check out the branch that you actually want to do the actual commits you want to put it onto. You do the cherry pick. And then you, if you need to create a new branch, you do that. But if not, you can just push it up to GitHub or wherever you're hosting things in. So that was Git cherry picking. It's useful for taking particular commits and moving them onto another branch. Not really moving. It's more like copying. It's still on. If you look at the actual all foods branch, it still has those things. You, you don't actually remove it. It's just copying. And it's really, you know, th let me take this as a time to plug. This is a really good reason that you should keep, keep your commit history clean and group your changes of code logically into particular commits. Because if these commits were like all jumbled up and for some reason Apple and Spaghetti were in the same commit, then we couldn't do the cherry pick. That's why you should try to group things together. That's basically it. So that was Get Cherry Picking. I'm Source Make. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to see something else, especially the GPT keys, let me know. Because I do want to do that. That's pretty cool to have this uh, verify tag here. And uh, also like the video. You can also follow me on social media. There's a bunch of stuff below the video. and th That'll be there. So thanks for watching.